We're going to take a look at some shrubs today that are not very common in my opinion, but they should be. They're just excellent shrubs. I think you're really going to like these. And look at that. Our first one is black lace elderberry. This is a shrub that has so many different cool things to talk about. Let's start with that foliage. Black lace, that's where it gets its name. It's got kind of a blackish, dark purple, lacy foliage. Now, I can't grow Japanese maples in the area I'm in. I'm zone four on the map, but the Japanese maple have this interesting foliage. So we're gonna take this as the closest thing to that Japanese maple, but the Sambucus genus is the elderberry. And if you're familiar with elderberry, that's the berries you pick for elderberry jam. Now this elderberry is a fast grower and all elderberries are fast growers. This was dead almost to the ground this spring and almost every year. We call that a sub shrub. That's a shrub that it's not considered fully hardy, but it dies back every year like a herbaceous perennial. And then it has that growth that comes back. And luckily elders are one of the fastest growers out there. What we don't get to enjoy as much on is the flowers. Look at this whitish pink flower. Just an absolutely stunning contrast on the plant. But since this dies back every year, and this elderberry needs a full year of growth or what's called old wood, we're not gonna get that flower. But you know what? It's got so many other great things, I'm not too worried about it. The reason I think we get this to survive, and this is a zone five plant, is that we get a lot of heavy snow builds up in here. And it's also a little bit more on the wet side in here. We get some drainage comes in here and the elderberries will tolerate that wet. They don't want wet feet all the time, but if you've got a low area that's saturated from time to time, I think elderberry is gonna do very, very well for you. Now, even though this is one of the dark elderberries and it actually can be grown and look really cool in containers, take a look back here. We've got this golden yellow elderberry and at earlier in the season, this thing had filled out this whole plant. Not sure why we got some dye back, but what a great little contrast to not only have a blackish purple elderberry and then this yellow elderberry. Yeah, sometimes we just luck out. You put a plant in a location and it just, it's the perfect, perfect plant. Look at that, how it fits in there with some of these other things going on. Love to talk to you about some of these, but we're gonna stay on topic. Some of these different unique shrubs. Yeah, so black lace elderberry. What a great shrub. I hope you give this one a try. And now we're coming up on Tross Dwarf Cut Leaf Birch. Look at that cool little thing, another lace leaf type plant got that light soft green foliage but how unique is that you just don't see something like that now this is supposed to be a little tree eventually about five feet tall right now i'm letting it just be stay in that shrub form but eventually here's the look i'm after how cool would this look if this turns into these little dwarf birch specimens. These are not the same varieties I'm showing you here, but I think this plant has the capability, especially since I've got a multi-trunk shrub going on there, that I can let this develop into something just absolutely stunning. And that's one of the greatest things about gardening and planting out landscapes is putting a shrub in a location. They don't always do what you want them to do, but when they do, and you can start visualizing what they become, it's just absolutely fantastic. They're like kids. You know, you got dreams and hopes for them. This is just an excellent little plant that it, in the first years, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. We weren't getting much growth out of it, but now that it's set foot and it's rooting in, it's really, really starting to come on. The birch don't like to get real dry, but they don't like wet feet either. So you gotta find a location that's got that happy medium. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit closer on that. And you can see just how dissected and lace-like that foliage is just really, really kind of mesmerizes you. There's just not too many shrubs that are like this. So make sure you get out there. See if you can find this plant, Trost's Dwarf Cutleaf Birch. And here we're next to Purple Leaf Bailey Select American Hazelnut. Yeah, long name, but this is a contrarian of the group. Starts out with this purple foliage that you see here, just a dark, deep, rich Merlot foliage. And then it transitions back into a greenish and eventually we kind of get into this peach orange fall color. So yeah, kind of the opposite of what most plants do when they start out green and then go into some of the different colors like this. But the hazelnut, yeah, this gets bigger and it can get up to around four to five feet. You can actually harvest that hazelnut. It's also got an attractive catkin that's going to be showy. 
So we'll be patient on this one. It seems to be a slow grower. Been here about three or four years. Only got about, I guess, two feet of growth now. But we've got plenty of room in this area for this to fill in. And eventually we'll be able to harvest some of those tasty hazelnuts. And as I was just getting ready to wrap up the discussion on this, look what I find here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's one of the hazelnuts. I wouldn't doubt a squirrel or something got after it. So even on this smaller shrub, we're going to start seeing those tasty hazelnuts. Oh my gosh, right there. How cool is that? So what was that again? It was American Bailey Select. No, let me. So the Purple Leaf Bailey Select American Hazelnut. Again, it's extremely hardy. So this is another great one. I think you should try to find and grow in your gardens. Our next shrub is this Royal Purple smoke bush yeah that's again about one year's growth this is another shrub similar to the elderberry in that it dies back every year i call it a sub shrub so we're not going to get some of the smoke bush plumes and that's what this is named after those smoke bush plumes that you get in the fall but you've got to have at least one year's growth again blooms on that old wood so zone five, yeah, that's what I'm gonna categorize most smoke bush. But take a look at this one. Look at the size of that thing. And remember the plumes that we're talking about. Off in the distance, it looks like smoke, hence the name smoke bush. But we're gonna take what we get with this one, just gets this beautiful purple foliage every year. Comes back consistently from dieback all the way to the ground and gets just, look at that, five to six feet of growth. I think this has got one of the more unique leaf structures look at this if you've got an area with tough soil conditions this might be a good choice for you in a little bit warmer zones getting in that five above it's very adaptable to those rough conditions so the royal purple smoke bush let's take a look at one more smoke bush it's got a green leaf color but this actually has a golden yellow spring leaf color and here we're next to a goji berry. If you do an internet search on goji berry, pretty much all you're gonna find is information on the fruits. Yeah, this is considered to be pretty nutritional, high on the antioxidants, a lot of the vitamins and minerals, but it is part of the nightshade family. So it's got lectins in it. So depending on who you read, who you talk to, the lectins aren't considered all that nutritious, but it's actually a pretty nice shrub. It's got this nice little purplish flower. When this thing is loaded with the berries, it's quite attractive. On the downside, it does have a little bit of a thorn on it. Um, it'll prick you for sure. And then it's got this suckering habit, which kind of drives me crazy. But overall, I keep this in kind of an area that I'm naturalizing with all these other wildflowers you see here. So it fits in well in this area. I don't know if I'd plant this in my main landscaping, uh, but it does have some attractive quality, so something to consider. Mm. Back to where we started, look at that. Yeah, that black lace, woo, nice shrub. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next video.